Your world is created out of self. The world you're living in right now was created out of your selfhood. And yet we as human beings, we're trying to work out that world and forget ourselves and then maybe we'll have an experience of being a happy self at the end. No, the experience of happy selfhood is now. Within the self is the power of creation. Within the universal self, within the God self, but within yourself, myself, is the creator, and in the creator self that we are is the power of creation. And there's a magic to selfhood, which is that it is at the same time unique in other words, each one of us are so incredibly different, so incredibly unique. As I sit here and look at people in the dome, each of you are just remarkably yourselves, remarkably unique. And yet, there is something about selfhood that is replicated in each and every one of us that is the same, that is part of one thing. And that is the magic of self, of the universal self, is that it replicates all over the place and expresses itself all over the, the place in all these unique ways. What is the unifying factor? We talk about oneness and the oneness of humanity. Well, how does that become operationalized? How does oneness become operationalized? How does it become real? We know that it all comes together as people are truly themselves, the truth of who they are. And our enemy isn't each other. Our enemy is ignorance. The, what is the ignorance? The ignorance is trying to make it come together at any other level without self involved. Like it's gonna to come together philosophically. That works, right? Like I have my philosophy, my belief, and if you only believed what I believe, this would all work. Of course, you're thinking the same thing. So that's not going to bring us together. The feeling realm is not going to bring us together because we feel all kinds of things depending on time of day and what day it is and what just happened. And yes, the feelings are involved, but if we try to make it revolve, our coming together revolve around good feeling, it just doesn't seem to work. It's not going to come together around the physical or the mental or the emotional. It comes together, we come together, when we allow it to be focused, everything to be focused in selfhood. When we touch at that level of self, something magical happens. Everything else comes along. You can't touch the selfhood of somebody and not touch their heart and their thinking, and their body is there. So everything else comes along, but the real payday, the ultimate gold, is the gift of selfhood. It's true in communion with the invisible, that we get to touch the very heart, the soul, the reality of the Creator and know it in communion. And then we get to touch the Creator and another person. And then with that Creator that they are, they are bringing along all of the fabulous dimensions of their humanity that, that manifest from the point of selfhood, from the point of being. 